Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to double booking the meeting room calendar. Normally, for the physical meeting room, it only allows one person. You know, if the time is available, like you know, if from nine to ten is available, and David is book the meeting room, and if other people want to book again later, it will be declined because the meeting room is engaged. But there's some、uh, situation where this、uh, people are using the like a Zoom meeting or team meeting is a virtual meeting room. They want both people who book the meeting room calendar to be accepted. So let's see how can we achieve this one. So I have just created a meeting room mailbox called a double dash meeting dash booking, and、uh, this is a room meeting. Mailbox is like other meeting room. So if I log into the computer as David Smith, I want to create a meeting. I just create a meeting and then send it to Linda Smith and the test meeting from nine to ten a.m. I select this. Double booking. Okay, send it this man. Then click OK. I send the invitation. So if you if we go back to inbox, so we see the double booking calendar has a accept the. Meeting invitation because this time is available. So David Smith has booked this meeting now. So if I、uh, sign out, And then I want to sign in. I want to log in as another user, uh, Joseph.
Then over here to log again. So if I create a new meeting, and then we select the room, From 9 to 10, if I send the meeting invitation now, so we we'll go back to inbox. We see the double booking is, you know, has declined this invitation because it's already used by David Smith. So we want this to be accepted. So let's see what we can do. So first thing I needed to Cancel this meeting for now. I just cancel it. And then I need to go to the power here, run a few commands. So there are a few commands I need to run. So normally, first thing I need to connect to Exchange Online. And after I, connect, I have already connected to Exchange Online. After I connect to Exchange Online, I want to run a few commands. So first one I want to run this one is so this one is set dash calendar processing you know the meeting room and all request out of policy is true or request in policy is true so just click two times. So I then I run the second one. So second one set dash calendar processing the meeting room automate automate processing is auto accept and all request in policy is false. And then I run the third one. So set dash calendar processing meeting room allow conflicts is true. So I run this one now. After I run this one, let me uh, book a meeting again from with Joseph. You know, if I go to calendar again, I go to this one, create a new meeting. Check test. And select the meeting room. From 9 to 10. Nine to ten, I send the meeting invitation now. If I go back to the inbox. We see now the double booking calendar has accepted this uh, meeting invitation now. So if I wanted to double check, I just sign out with Joseph.
and then I want to sign in as Linda Smith. So Linda Smith is the administrator for all uh, meeting room calendars. So when I sign as Linda Smith, I'm able to see the calendars, you know, for this double booking meeting room. So if I log in. So after login, I want to go to auto log again. So I go to auto log. Then we go to calendar. Add a calendar. If we go to the next Monday, we see both David Smith and Joseph has the book, you know, from nine to ten um, in this calendar for the double booking meeting room. So it's all good now. That's all for me. Thank you.